It's a common disorder affecting around one or two in every hundred people. Vitiligo, white skin patches, are caused by a loss of pigment. There's no cure, but an Austin-based biotechnology company is working on a treatment. Kexan Steffi Lee shows us how they're trying to use a person's pigmented skin cells to help regenerate color. In 2018, Winnie Harlow became the first model with vitiligo to walk the Victoria's Secret fashion show runway, bringing the condition into the spotlight. I've unfortunately had patients who were turned down for jobs or not allowed to work in food service because people thought that their condition was contagious when they saw different colors on their hands. Harlow remains outspoken about not letting the skin condition stop her, helping dispel that stigma. I feel like if if more people knew about it, um, it might help to, uh, you know, lessen the stares or the question. Isha Dahar has lived with vitiligo for three decades. It's an autoimmune condition, so similar to thyroid problems. Sometimes we use creams and sometimes we use phototherapy in which we use ultraviolet-based lights to sh that we shine on your body to try to get the color back. Asia is working with Dr. Amar Ahmed to see if a new treatment called True Pigment might make a bigger difference. Here's how it works. He takes a sample of her skin, sends it to this Austin lab, which then puts the skin cells in a liquid. And then the melanocytes multiply and sends it back to the doctor's office. And hopefully, over a period of time, bring back pigment. Dr. Ahmed put it on her skin two weeks ago. I have to wait another three, four months um, to see if it worked or didn't work or what happened. Let's see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Now, one of the biggest challenges for patients is affordability. Many insurance plans don't cover it because it is deemed a cosmetic condition. Right now, there are four patients using True Pigment, and they're paying out of pocket. It's about $2,000.